I got to fly all the way to Yokohama in Japan for the 2023 Pokemon World Championships. Now, I actually brought an extra suitcase to fill entirely with Pokemon Center goodies from both the Mega Pokemon Center and the official pop-up Pokemon Center at the World Championships itself. But here's the thing, there's a catch. I can only spend $1,000, aka about 93,000 yen. I knew ahead of time that I need to save a lot of my budget for the World Championships and I couldn't spend it all at the first Mega Pokemon Center because there was one item at the World Championships I couldn't leave without. The Pikachu eating ramen on the Bear Walker skateboard. But just quickly guys, massive shout out to the Pokemon Company International for sponsoring today's video. I don't know if you guys know about this or not, but if you use this code on the screen right here, which is get your Mew, and also note that that O is a zero, it unlocks the legendary Pokemon Mew in your Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet game. I know, how cool is that? A simple code unlocks Mew. Anyway, that's just the beginning, because on September 1, a very special 7-star raid will be taking place featuring none other than the legendary Pokemon Mew 2. Now this event is going to run all the way until September 17th and is one of several 7-star terror raids happening for the rest of the year. There will be plenty more terror raids happening throughout the rest of the year so don't worry about that and make sure to get your Mew nice and strong that you always come out on top. Now guys, to participate in one of these 7-star battles, you'll need to become an Academy Ace by finishing the 3 paths and then taking on the Academy Ace tournament. That means rematching all of the gym leaders. Then you must defeat a few 5-star raids before Professor Jack is going to give you a call and let you know you're ready for that next level. On the other hand though, you could join a special raid with a friend that's already done all of that, which is probably my favourite go-to option because Pokemon's always just more fun to friends anyway. But guys, go claim your Mew today, tackle some of those terror raids, and get ready to challenge Mew 2 beginning on September 1. Happy raiding, guys! Knowing I had to save money for the skateboard, I decided to try and only spend about $200 at our first stop in Japan, which was the Mega Pokemon Center. Passing through the massive Maridon statue at the entrance, I instantly found something I wanted to buy, the big sleeping Pikachu plush toys. If you know me, you know I love plush toys, and these Pokemon Centers are absolutely full of them. I gotta say though, one of my personal favorite items I end up finding were the Tatsugiri plush toys. I like them so much, I had to grab one in every color. But I was on the lookout for one plush in particular, the giant flame boy, Fue Coco. He's easily my favorite starter from Scarlet and Violet, so you know I had to cop him, which is probably not great for my suitcase, but nevertheless, we bought him. And I don't know if there's any logic behind this, but I had to buy him a little brother as well. I just thought the smaller Fue Coco was just as cute. Now, they also had this Gengar too, and I'm gonna be honest, I definitely would have bought this if I had a bigger suitcase. But instead of buying any more big plush toys, I ran around the center collecting smaller plushes that I could probably get back home, like this Venonat. Why a Venonat? I don't know but I need that. Then obviously a few other favorites like Thunderous, which I'm stoked they had a plush toy for, and the dressed up Pikachus. They had so many different sleeves here to pick from as well, so I grabbed a couple of those that I'd never seen before. This Pokemon Center really feels like it had everything from sleeves to plush toys, even snacks and figurines. Unfortunately though, they didn't have too many Pokemon packs. Actually, they didn't have any at all. But I gotta be honest there, that actually worked in our favor because I still managed to spend $50 of my supposed budget, leaving me with only $750 to spend at Pokemon Worlds in Yokohama. This right here is exactly what it looks like when you spend $250 at a shopping spree at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. All I know is I got this ridiculous Snorlax size bag and I was so happy I did. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this whole uh, purchasing spree was like the bag at the end. I had an option of three awesome ones. I think I picked the right one. Oh, look, it's Pormont. Okay, so obviously I'm a big fan of like dogs in general. So when I saw Pormont, I had to get one of these. What do we got? Oh, I got all the sushi fish. I think I got every color as well. But you can't just have two of them. You have all three together. I feel like you can't separate the family. So I'm really happy we got three of those. We got the Pormont and then guys, probably I know the best purchase everyone's gonna say in the comment section. Obviously it's gonna be thunderous right here. So let's put Thunderous at the front, and it's the best version. It's the Theorem Form plush. Now, this is probably where everyone's gonna be like, Ando, you gotta chill and buy in the Fue Cocos. And to that I say, you never chill and buy in the Fue Coco. And I don't know if you guys have seen my YouTube short about going to the uh, Pokemon Cafe, but I managed to buy this little like blue Pokemon Pikachu chef. 
I love him. And I bought a fluffy Venonat just because I don't see Venonat plush toys that often. And I thought, you know what? Let's add this to the collection. I love the purple, it looks really good. But guys, my favorite purchase of the day. <laughs> I reckon it's probably thunderous, but a close second, it's this gigantic Fue Coco plush toy. He's just so realistic and like so fluffy and cute. I just, oh my gosh. Every time I see him, I'm like, that is the best thing ever. And I think this is my Charizard sticker. I feel bad breaking the Pokemon bag right here but that's such a cute Charizard sticker. Oh yeah, and then we also got a Jirachi sticker because we ordered the Jirachi waffle from the Pokemon Cafe. Now, luckily for me, I was granted early access by the Pokemon company themselves to the pop-up Pokemon Center, which gave me the best possible chance to grab me everything on offer. But I gotta be honest, there was only one thing I was keen for. Lee, you on the skateboard? That's my number one thing. All right, all right, all right. I'm ready. All right, this is the uh, Pokemon World Championship Pokemon Center. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. Everyone's crowding around things. I don't know if he drove the ship here or if he flew here. Lugia definitely flew here. Okay, so here's some of the jackets. Apparently this jacket here is exclusive to Worlds and it's got something on the back as well. Yeah, it's got the full design. Can Ando pull that off in public? Oh, we'll get the backpack. These are really popular. Everyone's been talking about the backpacks as well. I saw these at the Pokemon Center, but they were sold out. So let's get Pikachu eating ramen, World Championship backpack. Oh, look at the jerseys. So we got this on the oh, that's pretty cool. Are you going to get a jacket? Sorry. Oh, sorry, my bad. Already in my hands. Already in my <laughs> Nate's hands. already got the secure. <laughs> let's go get Pikachu. Pikachu wanting the ramen. Look at this. We're going to get this one right here. All right, Sprigatito. Play Coco as well. Yokohama sleeves, gotta get those puppies. And then you got even more sleeves in case you run out. But these are the iconic figures. So what do we got here? You got Pikachu with ramen on his head. Wait, Coco and Quaxley. Oh yeah. I think I want this. Oh, the Pikachu would be iconic, but I really want the Fue Coco. Let's get one of the Fue Coco figures. Oh, Jordan's calling me over. Jordan's calling me over. Oh, the whole section. <gasps> Stop! Five per person, Lee. What five sets are you gonna pick? Is there obsidian? Are there obsidian flames? No, there isn't. Oh, well, Silver Tempest, I'll get my Lugia, I guess, eh? I feel anyway. like that's like our only chance to get them because they're just so hard to get, oh, especially in I English. can't buy packs at all. I've been looking for boxes packs everywhere. Packs don't, packs don't exist in Japan. I know, it's so, an anomaly. That's the rarest section of this Pokemon. I agree, I agree, I agree. <laughs> no one's there, though. <laughs> oh, oh, these are these slaves? Yeah. So let's get this, I'll get the slaves. These are Pokemon Center exclusive Astral Radiance boxes, ETBs. So I'm talking so fast, I'm really nervous. Then we've got the Brilliant Stars uh, Pokemon Center boxes here. So we've got Charizard UPCs. And then what's the final thing here? The tins. Okay, so here are the Bear Walker skateboards. Everyone's still queuing up to get in. I got in super early. We gotta grab one. This is literally all I want from Worlds. And I'm gonna get one. Okay, so let's just take it. One per person. I did it. Danny, Wait, you already got it. Oh, we got, you it, got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my gosh. I'm terrified they're gonna sell out. Oh, no. Oh, the ramen bowl! Are they backpacks? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't know these existed. Yeah. And then denim jackets. And so we got a hat as well. You can get the Lapras and Pikachu hat. You can get a oh, Pikachu Lapras denim jacket. And here's the plush toy. This apparently is the real exclusive one. It's Pikachu riding Lapras. So we're gonna get one of those. Let's get one of these puppies. So this is the other Bear Walker board. It's the Team Rocket one. Very simple, got an R on it. I'm just gonna stick with one Bear Walker board because I'm already scared about getting it back home. You got the Team Rocket shorts, Team Rocket Windbreaker, red, black. Maybe I should get that and wear it in, uh, wear it in a video. Oh, this is so aesthetically pleasing. All of the Pokemon plush toys. They've got every single one and it's in Pokedex order. And then, oh, it's Gen 2 right here. Wait a minute. Gen 3? If we go over here, is it Gen 3? It is. Oh, they're done in Generations. So we got Generation 3. I'm actually going to pick up a uh, Latios, Latios plush toy. All right, we're getting these two. This is the checkout area. It's massive. They are waiting for the biggest queues ever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We are going to check out. Oh, I feel exhausted. Now, after the 15 minutes of me running all throughout the Pokemon Center, I had finally made it to the counter to pay. They had scanned every single item individually and then laid it out on the counter. And that's when I quickly realized we had not only blown the budget, but we had doubled it. That's right. I had spent around $1,300 at Pokemon Worlds, which means I'd overshot the budget by like $500. But hey, you're only at Pokemon Worlds once a year. 
<clears throat> but anyway, let's fly back to Australia so we can unbox everything I got, which I'm so excited for. All right, so I think I tried to grab one of each one that was exclusive to Worlds. I didn't double up because I didn't have that much room in the suitcase, but we've got the Fue Coco riding it. I think it's a bit of sushi, holding the uh, two sushi rolls right there. Then we got Sprigatito right here. And this one's really nice because it comes with a base, so it's not gonna fall off anytime soon. Then this one was a really sought after one. It was the Pikachu riding a Lapras. Obviously the event was at Yokohama, which is more of like a beach town, like a shipping port. So there was a lot of like action with Lapras in the water and obviously Sailor Pikachu riding Lapras. Then you're gonna have Quaxley right here. Unfortunately, I think Quaxley was the least popular plush toy I saw. When I went back on the final day, this is the one that was most in stock. Um, and then we've also got Pikachu eating ramen, destroying all resale value. All right, seriously, I'm glad we actually unboxed these. These are epic. Okay, there was two other ones, I think, the other two starters. So we had Sprigatito and Quaxley, but Fue Coco is by far, if you could tell, my favorite starter. So I got my little uh, Fue Coco figure right here, which is just gonna look so good if we end up putting it on display or something. And then we've also got the Pikachu. And look at the detail, like Pikachu's bowl of ramen, he's like balancing on his head. And then look at him, he's balancing all the sushi on his uh, nose as well. These are epic. Okay, really happy with those. So there's a lot of glassware that was really popular. The ramen bowl right here. That was probably one of the most sought after things. People were fighting over that bad boy. I've got the deck box right here, which is really cool. This is a tin that is filled with cookies, like little chocolate wafer biscuits. And this is a chopstick rest. Then we obviously had to get the Pikachu chopsticks to go along with that bad boy. We've also got all the pins from the event. I love collecting the pins, as you guys know. Which one's your favorite, by the way, out of all these? Then you've also got uh, the exclusive pens, you've got the playmat. We should actually unbox this, see what it looks like. You know what, I was taking out the playmat, but I gotta give a shout out to the little like bag that they put the playmat in. It's got a D-clip on it, it's got like a little uh, string, a drawstring so you can tighten it up. And then the design of this thing, it's like a little preview of what you see when you get out the playmat. And this thing is epic. This is literally like summing up the Pokemon Center, summing up Pokemon World so perfectly. It's got all the mascots, and look at these little hidden details. Like you've got Munchlax with a fork. He wants his dinner. You know what? Let's address the elephant in the room. This right here is by far my favorite pickup. And when I went into the event, it was the number one item I was dying to get. It's the Bear Walker skateboard. So obviously this is just the deck right here. But as far as like a display piece, it looks unreal. The colors, the design. And then as you flip it over, it's got the Worlds logo and it says Bear Walker there. In my opinion, it looks a bit like a Star Wars font. But what makes this really, really special and really cool to me is I actually got to know Bear Walker and I traveled a bit of Japan with him. So he signed my board right here and he's written the number 160. And that's because there are only 500 of these boards in the entire world and my board is number 160. And how I know that is it comes with this little trading card right here that says 160 out of 500. Look at that, oh, holographic Pokeballs and Pikachu eating ramen and it matches perfectly with the skateboard. And last but not least, we've got the Worlds Backpack. And to be honest, after the Bear Walker skateboard, this is probably my second favorite one. I saw my friend Super Duper Danny wear this pretty much the whole trip, and they look so good with it. Like, it just looked great. The patchwork looked like a really cool urban, uh, like, sort of backpack, and the colors are nice. So that's probably my second favorite item I got behind the uh, Bear Walker skateboard. Third item, probably the deck box with the trading card. And then fourth, it's just a general tie. The plushes are iconic. I love collecting plush toy. The Ron Bowl, the dice set. Let me know what your favorite item is. And also, if you're still keen, Ando, where's all the other stuff from the uh, first part of this video? Down there, cameraman, show them, show them all the goods. We've got all the plush toys still sitting there, including the bed and that. So hopefully you like these Pokemon Center shopping videos. I went financially bankrupt, so thumbs up the video for that. Make sure you click subscribe. We have so many more epic Japanese like shopping Pokemon card videos coming out. It's gonna be awesome. I'll see you in the next upload, guys. Keep on gaming.